Okay, um, Jack, you have been in Gabon for several times, right? And today was your last visit to Gabon. How do you feel about that? I'm very sad. I love coming to the corner in Gabon. It's like coming to visit cousins or relatives. Mm -hmm. We have five American corners in Armenia, in Kapan, and Yerevan, Transavan, Vanazor, and Gumri. And when I visit the others, I just go and I do a program or I do a meeting and then I go back to the embassy. But when I come to Kapan, since it's so far, I have to spend several days here hanging out with the staff and the volunteers and the patrons and having dinner and lunch with them. And, and so it's really like coming home. So I'm really glad that my last trip in Armenia is to Kapan. Great. And uh, what did you do during your last meeting in Gabon? So what was the main yeah. like, uh, topic you talked about? Well, we spoke about the American Revolution because we just celebrated July 4th and then we were lucky enough that Nune from the Kapan Corner was able to join us in Yerevan this year for the embassy celebration. So July 4th is when we celebrate American independence and I thought it would be good to explain a little of the, the story behind it and the history of how we came to, to independence because I think it's an interesting story even to today, where people are trying to find their way politically. Um, so I think it, it, it is a story people can learn from. Okay, and what about audience? Um, so what, uh, what group of age they were and what kind of interest they had? How did you notice? Well, it was a very diverse audience in terms of uh, age. So we had you know young children, students, and then older adults who a lot of them had participated in a TOEFL class that the corner um, sponsored and, and provided. And they're, I noticed their English was very good. They could understand. You know, I'm not the slowest talker and I'm not the clearest talker, but they could understand what I was saying. And so I think that speaks well of both the teacher they had for the TOEFL class, but also the effort they put in to improve their English. Because it's not just having a great teacher, it's also the students who put in the effort to put in the hours and, and, and effort to learn the English. Great. And as you have mentioned, you are uh, you have held a travel preparation course, and as I know, it's already second year you are holding that course. And um, how do you see the progress of that course, uh, like comparing the last year's uh, participants and this year's participants? So, do you see uh, growth of the uh, like uh, number of people who take part, or do you see like they are fewer or? Well, I think you know this is the first year that we've done it. Um, in all five corners at the same time, which is something new. And so I think it was very interesting for the embassy to see this kind of focus on the corners on, on TOEFL um, nationwide. I think it speaks very well to Armenians and to the, the future they want to build, that they want to learn English, because English gives you wings, not just to study in the United States, but also to access scientific articles, to access research, to watch CNN, to, to get different news outlets, to make up your own mind. And then also I think it gives you the opportunity to access the larger um, commercial market because you can get customers in the United States for your business, you can sell things to the United States, you can import things to the United States. So with English, it really opens up so many doors. And I think seeing the, the growth of these English programs, you know, we're going to have um, a business English class in all the corners later this, this year. And so seeing the kind of demand for these classes and, and, and the the great teachers that we have teaching these classes, I think it's a great symbol for our meeting's future. Great. And um, what's you got, what are you going to take like from Kaban and from Armenia, like you're already living, uh, and mm -hmm. what's the best thing you're going to take from Kaban and from Armenia with you? I wish I could say I'm going to take from Kapan some of Nune's dad's vodka, because it's the best vodka in the whole wide world. Um, but I think I'm going to take from Armenia, I'm going to take kind of a sense of hospitality. Because no matter where you go in Armenia, whether you're visiting you know, the, the president or you're visiting a farmer, they will welcome you into their house and give you all the food and drink and, and happiness that they have to share with you. And I think that's a very wonderful part about Armenia that most people might not recognize is just the hospitability of the people here. And I hope to carry that with me when I, when I depart from Armenia. Great, so have a safe travel. We were very happy like, to cooperate with you. And yes. personally, I, and I wish I could see you again. Kahani Yes. Yes, I am planning to study in America in my university. Yes, 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 so we can meet. Yes, Hopefully. See you.